or you give you guys a little heads up. I am going to be downloading three videos on Sunday every week. Um, if it's gonna, it's gonna be two to three videos a week on Sunday, and then if something special comes out and I get it in the middle of the week with, um, you know, with them. Um, uh, any kind of a launch or anything that comes out and I don't get it till like middle of the week or something like that. If I get close to the end of the week, then it'll just be my normal shift. But if it's like, if it comes in the middle of the week or if it's something really special that you guys really want to know about, I will definitely make sure that I, um, drop an extra video that week or make it in the middle of the week or what have you. But my videos will be going up on 11 a.m. every Sunday. Um, so you will get three videos, hopefully. <laughs> That's the call. Three videos. But you will get at least two videos, two to three videos every Sunday. Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So I just wanted to throw that out there so you guys would know about it. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope you guys have had a really, really super awesome day today so far. Hope your day has been great regardless of what time of day it may be and where you may be. I hope it was a good one. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe. Hi, Gabe. And I'm a 50 year old makeup artist and I've been in the industry 30 plus years and um, I have worn many, many different types of hats in the customer service and retail field as well as being a national makeup artist and traveling all over the country. And um, if you're new, hi, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you're my older subscribers, I love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'm so glad that you guys are back. And, um, you know, and I just hold you near and dear to my heart and you just got to make my day every day. I'm telling you today, we have some bougie makeup today. Oh, I have really wanted to try this foundation and I just have never been able to do it because the foundation is just really, really extremely expensive. But you know, but I thought for the channel and for the channel's sake that we would actually try it out together today and see what this thing is all about and why it's so expensive. Like, I mean, like Jesus. So anyway, if you're interested in that and you want to hang out and you want to find out about this foundation and this powder, then, you know, let's stick around and let's get into it. Guys, a little heads up, you know, of course, my brows are done. I did some eyes. I've got some lashes on. I did um, my Gucci primer. I did a little bit of my Gucci Silk uh, Priming Serum. I did a little bit of that on. And um, I have another product on, which will be in the next video, just to test it out a little bit. So, you'll have to wait for the next video to see that. But anyway, um, I have a little bit of that on as well. So, we are ready to kind of dive into this foundation. So, what are we, what kind of foundation are we talking about today? We are talking about the La Prairie Skin Care caviar concealer and foundation together in one SPF 15. Mm, and see, I haven't even unwrapped it yet. So, and we also have the uh, La Prairie loose powder. Look how big this box is. I'm like, I'm like, really? Jesus, that's like a huge box. I mean, oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> oh, one of those things that you would never say, oh, it's too big. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I just had to throw that out there. I'm just being crazy today, you know. But anyway, um, so anyway, let's dive into this bad boy and see what it's all about. So as I open it up, I'm going to read you guys a little bit about what the foundation is or whatever. And um, just if you're new to my channel up here, I will put beside like what my skin type is, what I look for in a foundation, um, what normally I really enjoy when I get a foundation, like what I really look for. I'll have all that information up here, my age and all that good stuff. I'll have all up there. Um, and then, you know, then I'll throw up some cards and stuff as we go along too, so you can kind of see, um, you know, but um, so the foundation only has... has 13 shades so let's think about that for a minute it has 13 shades it came out in 2015 so i did my research so the foundation came out in 2015 so um la prairie is a little bit behind on the times and guess what i have the darkest shade so that's got to tell you something right there. I'm just just saying, just saying, just throwing it out there, just saying. Um, and um, and she retails for a beautiful two hundred fifty five dollars for a one point four ounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two hundred fifty five dollars. Think about that. Like that, and and then we will get into the powder. But you just do that in the powder, and guess guess how much that that is. That's like a like a mortgage payment, a car payment together, all in one. <laughs> Like, oh my god! So anyway, just the needless to say, guys, it's like, you know, if I don't like this foundation, we're definitely returning it back to Nordstrom's. They already know that. I've already told them. <laughs> so they already know. 
they're gonna end up because I'm like, this is way too expensive for me to keep if I don't like the foundation. Bob Hurry makes it sound so seductive and so sexy that you just want to just put it all over your body and just mush yourself in it because it just sounds so wonderful. They describe it like it's just this erotic novel. Almost. It's, just, it's so crazy. Color perfects the complexion in this dewy foundation and it's exquisitely matched concealer ASMR. Um, infused with caviar extract. The luxurious cream emulsion offers full coverage and the concealer camouflages under eye darkness and deeper imperfections. The infinitively flawless Finish to your skin caviar ritual. Let's throw this out there. Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I'm just, I would get inside of myself. So I just want to let you know. So I did get the, like the Supreme Balm Cleanser. It's like a balm cleanser that you clean your skin with. Whatever, because I wanted to see what that was all about. So again, look at the box. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. So it's 160 for this little Biatche. Um, she is 3.4 ounces. And <sighs> I'm going to tell you already it's it's divine if you have dry skin it's divine <laughs> it's just like the heaven opened up and angels just placed it on your face because it just feels so good on your face and i'm like why why does it have to be so expensive it's like crazy so anyway it is so awesome though it's really great you only need like a little bit of it and it smells so good um, it's definitely one of those, if, you have, if you're sensitive to fragrance, you definitely want to touch it. But it's really awesome. It has the bougie little spatula that you take it to wipe the cleanser out of. And um, just to give you guys a little show, see, it's like a balm in the inside. Um, it is just really, it's just really, really beautiful. And I got a free gift at Nordstrom. Um, it's like, I don't know if they still have these or not, but um, in my Nordstrom, they had a gift with purchase and I got a free eye cream in the inside of it. You can see it's got the test or not for selling it. But you know how much this eye cream costs? This eye cream cost $635 for this eye cream. Yeah, let that sink in just a little bit. We'll let that sink in. Anyway, so anyway, I got that as a free gift with purchase because, hello, let me tell you, after all I got, so we got that as a free gift purchase. So anyway, going back to the makeup. Um, so anyway, so I've got the box open. I got it in the shade Mocha W50. Um, so let's open this up together because I have not opened it yet. Okay, so the... Um, Makeup has a little, oh, oh, so it comes with a brush, a little brush, a sponge, oh, and you have a bougie plate to put it on. Ooh, how exciting is that? So, and then, and then here is the inside of the box. So you've got this big, that's why the box is so bougie. But this is the component, and this is the um, skin caviar, this is the foundation. And, um, and you, you take it off and it's got a little spatula in it. It's got a spatula. And then at the top, it's got a actual concealer. So it has like a concealer for your face or your underneath your eyes. Um, and then you take it and you place it on the little bougie thing. And, and so you take your little bougie component and you put it right there on the side. And you got your little, this is like your concealer brush in there together. So isn't that just cute? For two hundred fifty-five dollars, we got our own little stand. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we're really enjoying this. So anyway, so why don't we? While we're opening, let's just go ahead and open up the powder too. So this is I got it in shade translucent too. Um, and again, let's open it up. It's like you know the bougie. We're gonna hear the bougieness when you open it up. It even smells like money. It smells like a like the, a, the rich eighties or something. Huge. It's got a really huge box. So we have the descri product description. And ooh, and so this is the powder. How pretty is that? It is really beautiful. The packaging is really beautiful, but it's like, it is, it's over the top, man. Let me tell you, it is over the top. Oh, how cool! I think I remember Mel Thompson because she loves this makeup and this powder, by the way. I'm just going to say, she, um, if you ever want to check out Mel Thompson, I think she does. I think she has a review up on her channel, but it's really, really awesome. Um, but this is but this is the actual powder. And then it's got a little puff in the inside of it. And then a little lock. And you can lock it or you can unlock it. So you can unlock the powder 
or unlock it right in through here. Isn't that cool? And you have a big mirror in the inside. And then you have a smaller one for travel. So the small one is just like the big one. Isn't that cute with the little, with the same thing? With the little, it's just got the little shifter in it. It doesn't have the little lock in it, but it's got a little mini travel one you can travel with. Isn't that cool? That's kind of cool. But it's like really big. Look at the component. It's huge. I mean, we would use this forever. I mean, it would take this, like, it would take like 20 years to use this powder. Oh my God, it's like, hello. So we have our little bougie stand and our little, our little brush. And we go, we got our powder open and ready to go. Um, so anyway, we have the puff, which I don't know if I'm going to use or not. I've got my own, so I don't know, but I'm, I may use this one. It's, it's here, but I love my Tati Blendiful. Um, I, this is just my favorite. Um, I use it for everything. It's just great. You guys will see me use that all the time. It's one of my favorite things to use, and I have a damp beauty blender, which I, I love. I love to use that too, but I think I'm going to use my BK Beauty brush with it today, so we're going to try that out with it. So the powder is 200 yeah, so 255 for the makeup and then 230 for the powder. Yeah, and then 160 for the cleanser. So you can imagine my device whenever I see this, I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Um, so anyway, so what this powder does, because it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the be all end all in powders. So it refines skin texture smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and minimizes the appearance of pores. Preserves the level of hydration in the skin, leaving it with a feeling of comfort. Sets foundation for long wear. Provides a natural matte luminous finish for a youthful glow. I mean, it is the conclusion to your indulgent beauty ritual. The first loose powder infused with caviar extract for complexion perfection. <laughs> you better rock it out, La Prairie, okay? I'm just gonna let you guys know, it is really super hot in my room and then I've got this long shirt on and it's really warm today, so I'm like, so I'm like a little, a little hot today, but, um, but I'm always dewy. So I'm always ready. I always look like a disco ball. So just letting you guys know. That's just that's just the way I, that's the way I roll. Okay. Um. So anyway, so let's get started with the foundation. Let's try it out. Okay. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna shake it just a little bit because it said to shake well. I'm gonna shake it just a little bit. Just get it started. Um. I'm gonna open it. I really like the component. It's really kind of cute. It's got the spatula, the little spatula. It's quite a bit on the spatula. It's got a very um old school smell to it that it's got a sunscreeny painty kind of a smell to it the smell is not that pleasant but um, I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand because this is gonna be it's supposed to be full coverage so I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't normally like a full coverage so I'm gonna take my BK Beauty brush and 101 my 101 brush and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna press it into the foundation and then we're gonna start in here and I'm gonna tap a little bit here and hopefully Mocha with because the other color that they had, this one was the this is the 50. The 40 was a little peachy, but it was still really pale looking. So it looked really ashy still. So I'm hoping that this one works. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But um mm. Yeah. It's um looking really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm not liking that because I don't want to like it. I want to hate it. So we can't like it. That's going to be our whole thing through this whole journey together. We're not going to like it. We're going to hate it. It's going to look ugly. It's not going to look pretty. It's going to settle in our pores. <laughs> I hope that it doesn't look pretty because it's like me. I'm like, oh my God, watch me fall in love with this foundation. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Now, if you guys um, are new to my channel, um, you know that I have the Chanel, um, the liquid foundation and the cream foundation. I have both of those. Um, those are one of my most priced. I have the Lemire cushion and I also have the Lemire in the liquid as well. So I really like, I do love expensive more, the really beautiful expensive foundations. Um, you know, especially if they're very glowy and very rich. I really like that because my skin just loves it. So, I mean, it's, wow. It's, it's, well, I had, I took up a little bit what on my hand, but it gets a really good coverage, guys. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. 
That is so pretty. Okay, let me see before I do it so we can see the difference between the sides. So this is the side with the foundation and then this is the side without. It just took out a lot of the redness. The color match is pretty good. It's not bad at all. Made it look really smooth and even out. Oh, I like it. It's really nice. Let me take my, um, I've got my Huda Naughty Mirror here. I'm gonna look. Okay, yeah, it, um, it blended in really, really beautifully. There's no, um, there's no settling like a snot, which usually I don't have that problem with settling in lines here or in lines. I don't never have that problem normally. Um, usually I don't have the right here. I don't get the creases or anything normally anyway. Um, but yeah, it looks really smooth. It looks very smooth. Um, I had to make my pores look any bigger or any smaller. Um, it blended in really, really nicely. Probably around my forehead a little bit better. Just to blend it in a little bit better around my, my forehead. Concealer on the top. And just instead of adding more with it like that, I'm gonna take a little bit more, just the brush, and a little bit more around my nose area. And right through here. Look like underneath my eye, because it is a concealer, and it is supposed to be a concealer. So I wonder what it would look like under the eye area. So let's just look a little bit. Because I wasn't gonna use this as a concealer, but I think we'll try it. Well, just for kicks, we're gonna try it and see what it looks like. That is pretty. Woo! I don't like it. It's really pretty, guys. Wow, this concealer is not settling in anything either. It's going on really smooth and creamy. And just really, like, if you like a concealer that matches your skin tone, this would be it. But now, if you like a concealer to be a little bit lighter than your skin tone, then this wouldn't work for you. You would still have to use another one. Or you would have to buy another foundation in order to get the concealer on the top. But, um, but yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm like really shocked that the concealer worked under, well, under my eyes well because it would look a little bit darker in the actual pan, but it's really not, actually. It's really not at all. I think. Without, with. It, it definitely even, oh my God. It like. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, Batman. Jesus, wow, that is so gorgeous. Wow, okay, Mel, I know what you're talking about now. I'm like, hello, because she always said she only wears this for special occasions because it's so expensive. She never wears it when she wants to be absolutely flawless. This is when she wears it. Oh my God, I can see why. Wow, that is pretty. Wow, it is so pretty. The concealer, it's really creamy. It's really, it's very, it's very lubricant. You have like a very hydrated look to it. It's just like a satin, but yet it's got like this really pretty glow to it. So it's very, but I'm glowy anyway. So I mean, but it is very, um, it's more to me, it's more like dry skin friendly, I think. I don't know if I would, uh, dry skin, maybe normal combination, I would probably say. Um, you could probably get by if you're like a light combination. If you're a heavy combination or oily, this, this makeup would not be for you, that's for sure. And I mean, you know, and then of course, it's like trying to find your right shade too, because the shades are so wonky and there's only 13 of them. Um, but wow, it is really stunning. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. And I thought my Chanel double mosh was really pretty, but this is gorgeous. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. So let's open up our big bougie component here and I'm going to unlock her and we're going to um, shake out a little bit. The only thing I don't like is it gets on the mirror, on the top of the mirror, I guess. But um, but that's okay. I mean, I'll just I'll just take it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I press my powder in. I don't do a light dusting. I do like I take my powder and I press it into the skin with my puff. So because I love that. Now, it's got a smell. 
it's definitely got like a, it's got a very, um, it's again, it's got like an old school kind of a smell to it. It's definitely got a smell to it. I'm not really a big powder person. So I normally don't do a lot of powder, but um, I gotta say, with without powder, with powder. Wow. With the powder, wow, the powder is, it's really pretty. I've been looking in the mirror and it just looks so um, smooth. It feels really, it feels very hydrated. You can definitely feel um, it's not like completely set down yet or if it's gonna set down because I don't know if it's gonna set down or not. Um, but it definitely, um, it definitely hasn't set down yet completely. Um, it definitely feels a little bit more on the dewier side or more on the satiny kind of side. But it looks, maybe once it sets down and powdered it, it'll look a lot more, it'll feel a lot more not as tacky. But it just looks really, really beautiful right now. Oh my God, I can't believe it. This is just for me. I'm just, I'm floored. Oh my God, why does, A number one, why does it have to be so expensive? B number two, why don't they have more shades than this? I mean, it's like, it's a really, really beautiful foundation. Um, So listen, I've got to go off. So I'm going to go and do, I've got to do another review on, um, some other things and um and so i will, will be back and when i come back i will have a finished look um and then we will discuss what my thoughts are on it because i was not going to really wear it all day because i'm pretty good with foundations like i can tell right away what's going to wear on me and what's not going to wear on me and how it's going to look and how it's not going to look just within the, in an hour or so so um so anyway i'm going to go off and do that video and then come back and then we will get my final thoughts on it and then kind of see what we think from it from there okay Okay, guys, so I am back. So, anyway, um, I've been playing with some other stuff. So, anyway, <laughs> you guys want to check this look out. It's in another video. Um, it'll be in my Lisa Eldridge video, so you can check it out if you want to know what I've got on. And then um, I will also have um, it in the description box in the Lisa Eldridge video on what I have on. Um, as far as in here, you know, the eyes and stuff will be the same. So, because um, I've had the same eye look on, but I'll leave that down there below too as well. But anyway, so how, what are we thinking? about this La Prairie Foundation. Well, guys, I've got to be tell you, honestly. I mean, I've been playing now for about, probably about two hours underneath studio lighting, and it's been really, really hot, and I mean, I'm getting kind of really, you know, really hot and everything in it, um, but um, no creasing, no anything. I mean, it's not creased underneath my eyes. It stayed really smooth. Um, it just feels really, really good. It feels almost like skincare now. Um, I know that I've been playing with some of the Leith Eldridge and, and hers has got a very serum -y feel to it. But the foundation just, I put a little bit of my uh, Chanel bronzer on really beautifully over top of it. Um, you know, I can't really say anything bad about this foundation. And I want to. I really do. For $255 and for one full ounce, I want to say, yeah, hell no. I mean, it's like, you know, it's definitely... Um, but this is what I'm going to say, though. Is it worth $255? No, it's not. It's definitely not worth $255. I mean, if you want a really good foundation similar to this one, there are plenty of them out there. Even the Chanel, even if you wanted a, a bougie one, the Sublimage is $170 or $150. I mean, if you want to go that route, which you're going to get very similar to it as well, because this reminds me a lot of the Sublimage. Um, in ways. Um, it also reminds me a little bit of the La Mer, a little bit too. It, um, it just, this is a little bit more radiant to me, um, where the La Mer is a little bit more of a softer mat as far as the fluid goes. And then the cushion, um, is got a really little bit more of a radiant, but this has got more coverage than the cushion. Um, but whether you should go out and spend $255, that would be a no, um, probably. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to take it back or not. More than likely, I probably will as much as I love it. But it's really super beautiful. I mean, it just looks so pretty. But it's just $255 for foundation. It's just too much. I mean, I don't know why. 
I mean, even with Lemire, I mean, even with Lemire being 125, 140, and I think Chanel was one, you know, 150, 170. I mean, you know, that is still really a lot of money for foundation. But I mean, about 255 even. And I know that Clay de Poe has one too, which I did not like. And theirs is like really up there too. It's like I've, it's even more than um, this one. I think I think it's like 265 or 280 or something like that. But um, it comes in a jar. Um, I didn't like that one. It was a little bit too matte for me. Um, it's a beautiful foundation. It just doesn't work. Didn't work for me. Um, it's just one of those that I didn't care for. But I do really love it. It's a beautiful foundation. The concealer is really beautiful. The components are beautiful. Um, it's very compactful. It's easy to travel with. It's got the little mirror in it with the, this. The powder, the same thing. The powder is, the powder is gorgeous. Now, we'll say with the powder, even though the powder is an ungodly $230, you are getting another one to travel with. And this thing is huge. Like you, if you need loose powder and if you have dry skin, this is a beautiful freaking loose powder. I mean, and I don't say that a lot about loose powder. And I mean, you know, and I love my Charlotte Tilbury and I love my Gucci and I love a lot of the, a lot of those, um, and the Dior, but they're different. This is different. It's a different type of a setting powder. I've never seen anything like it. And I used to love the Lancome Absolute, which I have. I have that too. Um, but it's a little bit more radiant where this one's radiant, but it's just a unique form. I can't describe it. It's just a really, really good powder and you get a lot for your money. You got the big mirror in it and you get the, and you get the puff in it. But do, again, do you need a $230 powder? No, you don't. You can find one a lot cheaper and a lot better in, in just about any other brand as well. Um, you really don't have to go that route. It's just definitely not, but, um, but it is a really beautiful powder. And if you have dry skin, it is. Now, I will say this about La Prairie. Um, La Prairie is very, very rich. A lot of their products are very rich. A lot of their um, um, creams and serums and everything is very, very rich. And they're very, very expensive. Um, you know, but if you have dry skin, this would be a beautiful foundation for you. If you got the coin and you got dry skin and you want to drop it, and you're in the shade range, because remember, there's only 13 shades, and I'm the darkest shade. So that is, you know, if La Prairie is going to keep this around, or if they're going to, you know, stick with foundation, I really wish that they would try to expand it a little bit more, um, and make it a little bit more exclusive. I just don't think that's enough shades. Um, you know, there's a lot of light shades, but there's not any dark ones. And I think that's being a little bit un inexclusive. But, um, but I mean, if you are in that shade range and you do have a shade and you have the coin and you, and you've dry skin and you want something like this, um, I would say normal, normal light combo could use it. Um, anybody that's heavy combination oily, stay deeply away from this one. Um, and you know, if worse comes to worse and you wanted to try the product, you could always go to Nordstrom's or Neiman's and get a sample. Um, I definitely, cause they do give samples. Now the concealer, I don't think they'll be able to give you much of a sample of the concealer, but they will definitely be able to give you a sample of the foundation. Um, the powder again too, I don't know if they'll be able to give you a sample of the powder or not, but, um, I got it in the shade translucent too. There's not a darker shade than this one. This, this only comes in translucent one and two. So those are the only ones, but it is a really beautiful powder. Has a little bit of a smell, but not too much. So this one just has a little bit more of the sunscreen smell than it does really a uh, more of a paint kind of a smell. It's not really like a super, you know, fragrant smell to it. Um, it does have a little bit of an older fragrance, uh, older sunscreen smell to it though, but, um, but it is a really, really good really good foundation if you want something dewy something polished something radiant something really beautiful because i'm telling you guys i'm I, i'm speechless with this foundation i can't with it, the price tag if it wasn't 255 dollars even if it was 150 i could say you know what this would be a really good guys the la prairie is a it's it's not it's a thumbs up but it's not completely like if it was the price was a little bit better i could give it a complete approval but as far as wear and the way it feels and everything and the way that it looks and how beautiful it looks on the skin it gets a you know it definitely gets a thumbs up the price is the only thing it gets a thumbs down as far as the foundation goes the powder even though the price is extreme to me for the amount of powder that you get a 3.4 and then you're getting a little mini one to travel with and one that was going to last you forever and ever. I mean, it's an investment still, but it would be worth the investment if you are in that shade range and you can use it. 
um, and you're normal to dry, maybe light normal combo, you could definitely use the powder and it would be, it would be kind of worth it. Um, you know, so I could definitely give the powder a thumbs up for sure. Um, even though again, it's a little pricey, but, um, you know, I'm a bougie person and I love beautiful, expensive makeup. I think it's just, it's just beautiful. For some reason, my skin really enjoys it. Of course, of course, it's because it's, it's expensive. My skin likes it. I mean, uh, so anyway, I appreciate you guys so, so much hanging out with me and, and going down this journey with me with the La Prairie and finding out what it's like and, you know, why is it so expensive and, you know, is it worth it or not? And I just really appreciate appreciate that. So, I'm so glad that you're here. And, um, you know, just remember, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, and, you know, and most of all, love yourself. And, you know, be nice to someone, you know, being nice to someone, you know, just like maybe once a day. <laughs> <laughs> or doing something kind for somebody can really mean a lot to somebody else or just to do a kind gesture or uh, a kind act can really mean a lot to someone. Oh. And thank you so much and we will see each other again next time. Bye.